currently I'm in Jamaica right now and I did I wasn't even planning on making this video but I was like I just can't help myself I had to just come out here and film might as well show you guys what's going on and so far it's been nothing but amazing in Jamaica like just look at this view you know what I'm saying just just look at it absolutely amazing the water is over there mountains over there it's just good vibes so today I think we're, we're gonna go to the Dungeon Rock Falls and stuff like that, but I did ask you guys over on social media to ask me some questions. So I got questions from Twitter, questions from Instagram, and also I think questions from my YouTube comments. So we're gonna answer them throughout this video. But yeah, let's get started. <music> Hopefully it's not too windy, but I already know what you guys are thinking. Like, Siobhan, are you back in Jamaica? Yes, I came back to Jamaica. And I decided to come back to Jamaica since my last video because January 7th was my mom's birthday and my little sister's birthday. So I decided to come here, surprise them with a trip to the hotel. And it went well. It was an amazing trip. They enjoyed themselves. We did so many things on this trip like obviously we went to the hotel overall i just love how blue like just simple as that just how blue the water is puts a smile on my face like right now back in canada it's probably like negative 5 10 degrees it gets dark at like 4 p.m it's so cloudy and it's just overall depressing like being back home in jamaica is such a blessing and i don't know i'm just really happy and grateful that i could just travel whenever i want to and be with family that's just like one of the most important things i felt like being with my family more just made me happy and seeing people around me happy putting smile on their faces put smiles on my faces and i, I think because i went through so much that was one thing i needed to just lift my spirits back up and it definitely worked so i know some of y'all probably wondering what i've been up to since i've been on this trip to jamaica and it's just nothing but just having fun enjoying the water so the first day we just chill we came in uh, of course we had to test out the food uh, we just went to the pool nothing too crazy i then eventually found out a couple of days after that they had a water park in the freaking hotel the water park was like so hidden it's at the back of the hotel like if nobody told me it was there i would have never even realized that this hotel had a water park <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie, these these freaking slides are fun as hell. I've been at the resort for three days. I didn't even know they had a slide. They have this huge ass water park in the back of the hotel. Like nobody even told me about it. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. The water park was insane. Of course, went to the gym every day you know your boys in the gym i got a massage which is also really good i don't know what the hell's going on bro. now the next couple of days we decided to go on a boat and also go snorkeling so yes for the first time i went snorkeling and it was really really fun i'm about to go on the boat now by the way today is my mom's birthday so mommy Happy birthday, Happy to, birthday me. to me. <laughs> and my sister's birthday the same day, Michaela. She's pissed, she doesn't want to show her face. Happy birthday to me. Yes. I'm from Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool. <laughs> Alright, so we're about to go on the boat now. Wait, yeah, no, I'm gonna have a picture, I'm gonna forget to. <laughs> Still can't work? Yeah, the camera wise. Because they don't know. <laughs> The boat nice. The boat nice. I was going to see the mermaid. You want to see the mermaid? Yeah, mermaid in there. See the mermaid head there. You see it? See the mermaid. See the mermaid head. You know, see the mermaid. No, why? No. You stay with the lady. There, yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.
Okay, tell her your name. Dior Clark. Dior Clark. <laughs> right. So you're not asking her what's her name? What's her name? I'm Annalie. Hmm? Annalie? Say hi, Annalie. That's a new friend. So you're gonna help me cash? You're gonna help Annalie? You're gonna help me work today? Okay. All right, good girl. Good girl. Bye bye. Bye bye, Didi. What's in? We'll see you later. Okay. Boy. So we're leaving you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Just going snorkeling for the first time, yeah, it was a good experience. Everybody had fun, my parents were happy, my little sister was happy, and of course, I was happy. I was literally taking pictures, getting content under the water with my iPhone 13 Pro. Hopefully, it's good because that's what I used to film all those underwater shots. We're right here in these deeps and oceans in the tropics. <laughs> After one snorkeling, we decided to go to Dunn's River Falls and that was an entire experience. It was almost like a hike, but it's a waterfall hike. So it was a lot of energy. I cut myself, I fell. There's there was just so much going Look, on. Started out hopeless, start touching road, now I'm over focused. Now my flow the coldest, I mean that shit and I ain't just trolling. Pocket full of green, ain't got enough, I ain't got enough. Need that baby money till my niggas lifting bottles up. I'm like, welcome to the good life. I came from top rhyming where it's banging if it's cooked right. Added hot dogs and sardines, looking back, it was all green. And I'm finna seize the day, I'm feeling like Carl Dean. This new whip, I got a rocket, I'm looking like Hawking. that went through and did it so hats off to me it was like if you know Dunn's River Falls you know the second level on the right side when the water pressure is coming down crazy yes your boy Chevy I went through that it's like one of those ones if you know you know I did it 50 songs in now this shit getting hella easy hella easy and I put that on me feel like yellow beasy fuck up the game now my bank account hella sleep While I was on the resort, I remembered I didn't do my end of the year Q&A and people kept asking me, um, are you going to do an end of the year Q&A? I know right now it's like January 9th, so I completely missed when I was supposed to do that video, but I still went ahead and I asked you guys questions over on Instagram, my YouTube community tab, I asked questions over on Twitter. So I decided to take some time to go ahead and answer those questions for you guys. To let you, if you're brand new to the channel and you don't know me personally, you could, you know, ask some questions, get to know me, or there's any burning answers you guys wanted to hear all along, I got you. So let's go on with the first question. All right, so for the first questions, we're gonna start off with Instagram. All right, there's tons of questions here on Instagram. I don't even know where to start from, but the first one is YouTube goals for 2024. Honestly, my YouTube goal for 2024 is to hit 500K subscribers by the end of the year. We're currently at around 380K, if I'm not mistaken. But that's the main goal for my YouTube channel this year. So yeah. Next question is, how long did it take you to start your YouTube channel? It honestly didn't take me that long to start my YouTube channel. Whenever I decided to start the YouTube channel, I was just like, all right, let's get it. That's the only thing I was excited about at that time. It was just like Photoshop, video editing, and YouTube. That's, that was my passions, like football, Photoshop, editing, YouTube. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So 
when I thought about starting the YouTube channel, I think I started it within a week of just the thought, just having the thought. It took me like a week to start it. What's your favorite tech release of 2023? I honestly think my favorite tech release of 2023 would be, I'm gonna have to go with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, just because of the fact that I use it so much. I use it every single day. How do I become like you? I honestly always get these questions and I don't know why you guys always ask those questions because I feel like everybody's supposed to just be their selves, you know what I'm saying? Like find your own find your own image, your own personality. Like everybody themselves have their own personality. So I just think the best way to do it is just be yourself and that's the only way that you can stand out from the rest. You don't want to try to be like someone else. Never ever try to imitate others. Like yes, you could take uh, traits from them to build up on your own character, but never ever try to like replicate who someone else is. That's not the way to go. So, you know what I'm saying? Start with good habits. Start with um, being true to yourself, being honest with yourself, and just find confidence. If that's going to the gym, if that's, uh, you know, leveling up your communi communication skills, all that adds up to building up that confidence and what really lets you shine is your confidence. So the main thing is to build confidence. That's what you need in this world, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, never try to be like someone else. Somebody asked what's your favorite camera. I definitely have to go with the Sony A7. I would say like if I had to have one camera, it would be the Sony A7S III. Love your page, how did you start? So my whole YouTube channel basically started out when my little sister was born. My mom got me a camera, I got a camera to use. Just to take pictures of my little sister, I ended up taking pictures of everything. I realized that I could make videos, started recording videos and all that, and then I just fell in love with this whole content creation thing, you know what I'm saying? I started to figure out how to edit videos. I decided to just record any tech products I got because I was huge on tech. So my love for filmmaking and videography, taking pictures, my love for tech, all merged into one. I started making tech videos that blew up. So I just kept the ball rolling from there and that's basically how I started. So I did not start wanting to like, oh, how can I make some money real quick, boom, boom, boom. Money wasn't the motivation for me. It was just purely off of passion. And I think that's what really makes my channel so authentic, so you know, unique. And I feel like that's what has pushed me so far too because I'm very passionate about it. I love what I do. And if you don't love what you do, it was always feel like work. Like, yes, yeah, sometimes being a YouTuber gets hectic. By the end of the day, this is what I love doing. So, yeah. I think it's kind of getting too dark right now, guys. So, I'll try to answer up some of these questions tomorrow. Okay. A young and they used to live for the summer Skip used to go run the most All this beers Now fast forward up a few It's a whole new day Made it home to the crib ski Finally I felt like I was home But I wasn't home But now I'm actually home and we got my little sister doing some random, I don't know what she doing. Shout out to my boy Abbas, by the way, for lending me suitcase. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Open it, bro. If you guys are Jamaican, you know, every time you come to Jamaica, you, ha you have to bring back stuff for your family, bro. So we did bring back a couple gifts. Whoa. Was that this yes, we shot me foot. God damn. Toes. Mom. Boom. Very much needed. Yeah. Shut up! And this for my sister. What, what's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go V RGB, RGB lights. Woo! Mama, take her away to clap. The oh, sheet sets. You like it? Yeah. And then a bunch of heck projector. B -E -B -E when did I think I have something over here, Kayla? Perfumes. Yeah. Perfumes. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna open?
open first. I'm in the one. Already. Already. It's so proper. I'm for the people this year, only believe in the real I do believe in no fear, and I got gang in this bitch I never switch on the try, I keep it all the way real You don't see it? What? Oh! What's that? Wrong smutty <laughs> Alright, morning y'all It's a new day, as you can see we're out here in Kingston right now Driving in Jamaica is an extreme sport, I'm not gonna lie Like there's so much going on like people don't stop at stop signs. Nobody use the indicator. It's like we're just driving in with fate. You know what I'm saying? But today is gonna be a very fun day. We're right now. I'm about to get my car washed, and then my mom's car. By the way, I'm about to get her car washed. It's kind of dirty because we were in Ocherius and the beach and all that stuff. The kids, everything. The car was super messy. So we're gonna get that washed. After that, we're gonna link up with a couple of friends. About to go to the beach, Bob Marley Beach. As you can see, I'm wearing the Bob Marley shirt right now because we're gonna pull up to the Bob Marley Beach. And yeah, that should be fun as well. Just chilling with friends. Let's get this car washed and let's kick off the day. Can't even cap to me, now you feel something Yeah, you want it a million and you show it What you want, is it really that important? You've been on my mind and I really can't ignore it Lil' baby, you a 10 When I'm in it, I got you going, oh I can't even help it I don't think I want to Know that I've been on you Ooh, oh. Tell me that you want it Little baby, you a 10. Can I run it back again? Laid up, we paid up and faded on top of it. Big bad whip. <laughs> oh my, the fuck, no. Oh, oh, right hand drive, too. Jeez, um, Liz. I want to get one new one, but I'm going to get Jelly or the Q8. No, man. Got everybody have Jelly. Well, what should I get, guys? Q8 or Jelly? Instead of Q8? Yeah. And they look nice. It's you know, okay. like it? I mean, it's much cheaper. Yeah. But. What do you say? Oh, you're, you're always ready. Yeah, I'll put you on to my sales rep. You can't wait. I said Jelly, that's the, that's the pre. That's the pre. If you're coming on and you're touching this in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Nice, still. It look nice. The girls look aggressive. So you love it. I want to call for a plastic. True Jamaican. True Jamaican. Go on, man, go on. Go in the, the bands. Hair load. Yes. Hey, no shot. Your man, the speaker, they're working. Well, you say what Chanel, I got done in one song. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. This is my favorite feature. Uh, front. Everything. Back. Everything. Damn. What should, what should I get, guys? Q8. I need for try a Q8. I'm gonna try on it. But I'm sitting on I'm gonna watch enough yeah, video, but I'm not going on, on it. I'm not going on it. Them have them down there? I think they do. I can mm -hmm. call Harry. Yeah, so, GLE or Q8. It's given jelly. It's given very it's much. Gi it's it's given, given very much jelly. jelly. It's given jelly. <laughs> what do you want to hear? Anything stuff. Okay. 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 Okay.
Everything done now. It look clean. Bless. Oh yes. So if you guys ever in, if you guys ever in the Kingston area. And you need to get your cars clean. What it must come to now? Mac or? Mac Mills Auto. Yes. Alright. The boss like it there. Is it? Mm-hmm. Food get hungry. We have one survivor right here, but solid 8 out of 10, solid 8 out of 10, time, I think we're going to head to the beach. Alright, so just made it to the Bob Marley beach, you know what I'm saying, wearing a Bob Marley shirt, this place is sick, black sand beach and everything. Whew. Got a pass, but I'm knowing life is fast. Everybody's got their path. Need you to meet me where I'm at. Can't see me through these tents. I bet they asking who is that. You seeing what I'm on, but you don't know me like that. Don't come in and tease me. Without a plan to treat me a please. Me. I know what you need. Let's not discuss it. Quiet with all of that fussing. Nothing is good, turn out to be easy. So give me the reason. We should rush it. You might want to play with my heart and say that it's love. Yes, I have one USB dongle. Grade one, you heard that. Uh, maybe, maybe not grade, grade one. Four, cause grade four, we get four nine seven two. So we probably get grade three, grade four with the start, mm -hmm. get with them. But you see, in grade one, we never used to have that. Done. Yeah. Uh, Yo. They are. They have the big Sony out mm. here. Yeah, vlog. Yeah, I'm a little camera though. The Insta 360. No, the the DJI one. Don't know me to eat that actually for buy. It actually good. Bro, clean for real. You vlog with it like every time. Yeah. Let me see. Oh damn. I need a big gimbal for it today. Oh fuck. Yeah. You know it. Yeah, Mr. Potita. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Potita can do a vlog. Oh shit. <laughs> Clean, bro. I never have a little screen to. Yeah, hold on, eh? You have ND picture for it already? No, I, that's the only thing I don't have. Double click, it goes sent tight. Triple click, we gotta flip it. Damn. Got butt still. Hey, Pepsi there. You know, but actually, it ran out still. Yeah, oh, it ran out the Pepsi. Pepsi and but chill, 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 <laughs> and okay, Pepsi products okay, still. Okay, okay, yeah. get one, get one. <laughs> bro, I need a sponsorship. DJI, when you see this, this is the right place for you guys to see me. Sponsor me, bro. I've been advocating for you guys. Like, my first 20 minutes of footage on the camera was literally everybody just going. I, would, I do the face checking, yeah, I said, Bombard! Yeah, this clean. Yeah, I'm fascinated. Oh, this is a wide angle? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you can zoom. Oh, what? You can zoom. Zoom. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, say, yeah. It's like, like yo. How much, how much everything costs? $670. Or like oh. $680. That's the camera. The yeah, battery pack, the tripod. You know everything. what? I'm going to ask them for it. Yo, if you guys can't hear me, I apologize. But it's so windy out here in Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? But this drone, what, what is this? The Mavic 3? Yeah. How much for this? I just do that. I just. I just, I just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, Huh? I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find Thanks. something to learn from. That's my problem. Right the man said just two grand. Just. Just yeah, two grand, you know? A big boy doing that, brother. How much this cost? Are the question? That's cool, man. Just go uh, on. Go on, man. Go on, man. <laughs> Yo, 
This is a crazy shot, bro. water <laughs> and the sand and the beaches black sand too love i love sand. jamaica it's not regular sand man you know what i'm saying black that's sand. so funny some jamaicans would see the black sand and be like yo i gravel sand that man mm. and they're not gonna appreciate it I appreciate the different the, the uniqueness of the sun isn't it we all have stone in the sun bro like where where i find stone in the sun only jamaica stone in the sun. <laughs> Ready, Russian. More content for 2024. Any new series planned? Any new series? Well, you know, I'm the one of the originators of the Day in the Life content. So if that's what you mean, like a new series like that, I think this, what I'm doing right now is a whole new series on the channel, like more vlogging style. So I think I'm already starting to do that. So that's something new that I could expect more vlogs instead of just staying home and, you know, talking to the camera. More travel vlogs. One thing you regret not doing in 2023. Damn. Well, it's not really my fault, but not getting my US visa. Like, I went to get the visa and they denied me, so that's not really my fault, eh? I don't know. Say that again. Who did I get it? I don't know. I don't know, but now I'm going to try to reapply, so hopefully. The next time I apply, I could get it, but that's one thing. Not really, it, that can be a regret, right? That's not really my fault. Yeah, something I was looking forward to. The US visa, I didn't get it, so yeah. No, no, yeah, that's the thing. It's some idiot questions. All right, so somebody say Toronto or New York. i never been to New York, so I can't speak on that. But based on what I say, everybody has a New York, so I don't know. Uh, what's your proudest moments for 2023? Proudest moment for 2023? Easily buy my mom the car. Proudest moment of 2023, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, quick and easy. No no brainer. What's next for Siobhan Salmon? What's next for Siobhan Salmon is traveling more. Like I literally just started traveling in 2023. There's still way more countries that I need to visit. So traveling more. Is definitely up on the list. What can you tell someone who is trying to start up his own YouTube channel? <laughs> you just need to start it. Like yeah. it's so cliche, but you, stay yeah, stay consistent, start. start. But literally, that's all you have to do. You don't you don't look for excuses. Like don't say, oh, you need a better camera, or oh, you don't have a mic, or oh, you don't have a ring light. Boom, boom. Just start the YouTube channel and you'll see how you could evolve every time. You don't need to have everything. Yeah. You don't need to have everything from the jump. Just start and so it take you. And don't be a, a fool too. Like if it's not if you're doing it so long and it's not working, maybe it's not for you. Alright. Just made it to the apartment. <laughs> what? Nah. What the hell? They really got. Wait, I don't know if you guys can see this. They got the bedroom and the living room. That's crazy. <laughs> like, my friend um, helped me book this Airbnb, but it looks nice though, but I didn't know the bedroom was in the freaking. Anyways, it's nice. I'm in Kingston right now. This is the apartment that I'm staying at. Ah, after being in like the north end for so long, like Oterius, all that. I even think I'm going back to Oterius tomorrow. But yeah, it's been a long, hectic day, guys. I'm not going to lie. So I think I'm going to just wrap up the vlog right here. Chill, take a shower, and probably catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.
new day. I started off the morning well, you know what I'm saying? I went to the gas station last night and I got some goodies. I had this this morning for breakfast. Cup noodle, if you guys know what this is. You're Jamaican, you know that shit bussing. But today on the agenda, um, I'm supposed to go back to Ochi today, which is crazy. But I'm supposed to link up with one of my friends, Sean, who came here, a couple of my friends just going to Ochi. But I'm supposed to tint the car today as well. But I'm trying to, to call the people who's gonna tint the car in the morning. I'm not hearing from them. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that as yet to we'll figure it out. But so far, it's been great, you know what I'm saying? Here in Kingston, I have this like condo apartment that I'm staying in and it looks pretty cool. Like I, I tried to show you guys last night, but let me just show you around again in the morning time so you see what it's looking like. So just like before, we have the bedroom and the living room in one. Outside right here has this nice little hammock. I'm not even sure what you call that. I think it's called a hammock. There's another condo building going up over there. Nice views outside. See if we can open this up. The traffic is crazy, though. as you guys can see. Mad traffic. And I have to go into that traffic soon, so that's not a good look. The bathroom right here, you know what I'm saying? Then we have the kitchen. It's pretty nice, it's pretty decent. It's a studio apartment. Not everybody would like the fact that the bedroom is in the living room, especially me, if you host a lot of guests. It might not be ideal, but if you know that you're the only person living in here, then I guess it's a good idea. Outside is even more crazier. Like I was surprised that, I don't know why I was surprised Jamaica had stuff like this, but it's making me really interested to come back to live here for a couple months and show you guys around Kingston and just Jamaica because it's such a beautiful country. Rooftop terrace is crazy. They have like two pools. The view, the mountains over there, the grass over there. It's just come on now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I honestly think it would be a great idea to to come out to Jamaica. Like imagine it's literally snowing, dark, cloudy, depressing in Toronto right now. So I think I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I come out to Jamaica, live here for a couple months? You know, like go con hunting find a place down here i don't know in kingston or montego bay somewhere get a whip you know what i'm saying like i was looking at the audi q8 or the bmw x6 x5 buy a, um because houses and properties are way cheaper down here so i could buy something you know in kingston and then when i'm not here i could rent it out as an airbnb it's a good business move in my opinion honestly so i'm really thinking about it let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and if you're excited to see some more jamaican content because bro there, there i just showed you guys this much of jamaica this much this much there's way more to experience and i'm all for it because really and truly when you think about it i didn't really get to experience jamaica as an adult like i've lived here since i was like 17 18 then i went to canada all right so i didn't really get to experience the adulthood life in jamaica so even though i was born here and everything that's something i think i should do you know what i'm saying like as a jamaican citizen i should experience the adult life in jamaica and see like what it's all about see how i like it but yeah it's just a thought let me know what you guys think though. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right guys, just got a haircut. You know what I'm saying? It's looking clean though, feel me? I feel like the barber did use a lot of this, the enhancement spray, but this cut is looking fresh right now. I got my fit out. We're about to head to Ochi. You know what I'm saying? Calm little fit, calm little fit. If you guys follow me over on Snapchat, you can see literally what I'm doing throughout the entire day, but I just don't want to bring this big camera with me every single time. But right now, I'm about to take a shower, um, put that fit on, head on to Ochi, and yeah, let's just enjoy the time here in Jamaica, man. Yeah. 
Look, saint versus sinners, the poor versus riches Top ramen place versus five star dentists Wonder why I fit it, the humblest beginnings Had to take some losses for I saw my first winnings Silver line grinning, poverty line thinning My life is like a movie and the plot just thickened Came from broken homes trying to break the old traditions Left my old ways for my future acquisitions, I know no such thing as playing both sides, I know Life is better in the dope ride, I know The water better in the low tide Music better amplified, staying down for upsides, I know No such thing as playing both sides, I know The life is better in the dope ride, I know The water better in the low tide Music better amplified, staying down for upsides, I know Off the ignorance coming from a family dress. Why do I feel so blue? Why do I feel so blue? Why do I feel so down? Why do I feel so blue? Why do I feel so blue? Why do I feel so blue? Why do I feel so down? Why do I feel so blue? Why do I feel so blue? I need a meal like you, uh I need some bitches, some friends, and some jewelry I'm trying to get like you, uh Sign me a deal like you, uh Throwing my whip like you, uh Give me a gun and pop me a nigga I'm trying to be lit like you, uh Flex on the ground like you, uh Show all my bands like you, uh Alright, you boys back in the six That was an amazing trip, but there's still some questions that we need to answer I know I got a lot more new subscribers, new year, so I think you know, answer some more questions so you guys know me better. Let's get straight to it. Yep. Are we moving out of Toronto in 2024 or are you planning to stay there your whole life? Uh, might be moving back to Jamaica in summer for a couple months, maybe three or so months. So I'll be on the lookout for that one. Uh, what are your 2024 goals outside of YouTube? 2024 goals outside of YouTube. Mm, goals outside of YouTube? I don't know. Anything that you want to try out is like in your life or <laughs> <laughs> uh sh go to the US. Yeah, yeah. Please, can you get a pet for yourself? I love pets, but I just don't think I have the time for a pet right now. That's the only thing because if I was supposed to leave, I don't know where I'd leave the pet with. And I just it'd just be on my mind every time. Because when I get something, I love it so much and I treat it so good, it's like I just can't know that I'm treating it bad, like, yeah, so nah. <laughs> oh, we, got, we got a lot of, a lot of questions regarding your uh, relationship status. Most importantly, we, every time, ask, every single time. We're gonna ask, will we ever get to see your girlfriend and daughter? Daughter? <laughs> daughter? Wait, what did that question say? <laughs> Will we ever get to see your girlfriend and daughter in one? What the hell? I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't know what girlfriend, what daughter you guys are talking about. But, I don't know. A quote that keeps you going. Quote that keeps me going? Put that down below in the comments. You guys already know. Slow motion is better than no motion. That's Every time something's going bad, just remember that. <laughs> Why is this question so funny? Uh, how do you deal with disappointment and how did you overcome failure at one point? How do I deal with disappointment? Well, always set your expectations low. That's that's a good thing that I've, I've learned. But how you just deal with disappointment is if you guys see my recent video, you just have to accept it. If, you're, if there's something that's not in your control, just have to accept it, move on, try to figure out how you could solve the issue, either by stepping back, looking from different perspectives and just yeah try to be a problem solver just keep going be determined don't stop until you get the job done that's what i would say what's your secret to success and content creation um 
might sound like a broken record, but my determination, how good I'm able to focus on a task, just not following whatever is going on, like not being on the same time as other people, just truly doing what I like to do, using my own creative um, talents and just like being myself, I would say. Not trying to follow other people, not on other people's timing, just doing what I like to do, being myself and expressing that throughout my creative self. Yeah. Um, if you had any country to choose from, to experience living in, what country would you really want to try? Probably London or Dubai. It's a more wild card one. <laughs> What's your take on flying cars? Flying cars? I think that back then when I was in high school, I thought it would be a thing. But right now, I feel like it's just not happening. No time soon, like probably in the next 300 years. But I don't see it being something that's, that even makes sense. Um, what do you want your next milestone to be? My next milestone? Like a million subscribers? That's something I'm looking forward to. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe. As soon as I say subscribe, the subscribe button is supposed to light up. If you guys don't believe me, you know, come out to full screen mode, subscribe. You can see it lighting up again. I don't know, it's pretty cool. So make sure you hit that button. Yeah. The subscribe button is just going crazy. Yeah, it just, it just illuminating. You know, it actually happens, right? It's kind of cool. Yeah, subscribe. This actually shook me to the core. Like, Whoa. Like, what is the deal? with the SSD that you lost? Has it been found? No, still hasn't been found. Basically, I just left it on a flight when I went to Jamaica. Um, I called the next day, they're like, they didn't see it. Nobody reported anything stolen. We don't have anything. And yeah, it just went up in the air. And I was really depressed about it, but now I'm over it. So that's the good part. You know, I accept the feat and just keep moving. All the Chevy fans love yeah. when you're thriving. Thriving. They want to know how much you made in 2023. Were there a lot of questions about that? Yes. Okay. So for 2023, Chevron Salmon was slacking. I was trying to get to a milli, but we didn't. But we did make way more than last year. We made over 500,000 in 2023, which is crazy. Um, but one thing I need to do for 2024 is spend less. That's what I need to do because I felt like I felt like I made the same money in 2023 because I spent so much money in 2020. Yeah, I spent so much money in 2023. So for 2024, I definitely want to spend less because the more money you make is like you spend more and it feels like nothing. So definitely need to cut back on spending, get more frugal in 2024. So that's that's another goal. That's it. Those are all the questions. All right, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got to know me a little bit better. Those were all the questions I could answer in this video. Hopefully it wasn't too long, but it's a brand new year, 2024. Starting off for new beginnings, tons more videos to come, like especially Conda related. And also a lot of new products coming out this year, which I'm super excited about. The Vision Pro headset, S24 Ultra, still need to do Pixel 8 videos. So if you're new, remember, Drop a like, subscribe, and as always, guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out. Woo. How long was that? 19. This is what I mean when I say we're outside, boy. <laughs> yes, sir. I don't mind this life vest. We're in the middle of nowhere, okay? We need it.